Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you why dry ice sinks. Now let's get the question correct here. Why dry ice sinks in water? Of course, if I try to float dry ice on mercury, it will float, iron will float on mercury. This is a different question. Why dry ice sinks in water? Sinking and floating has to do with density. That is, how much a cubic centimetre or cubic metre of a material weighs. A dense material weighs a lot for the same amount of material, same volume of material, same space taken up. So the trick is simple. If you look at the density, you'll find if you have a block of ice, solid water ice, right, and that block is a centimetre cube, it will have a weight of 0 0.9 grams or so. If I take the same amount of water, it actually has a mass of 1 gram. It has a bigger mass. Now that means that the less dense material is ice. If I, however, look at dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide, dry ice for that same little cube, one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter, it will be 1.2 grams per centimeter cubed. That is, that same block weighs 1.2 grams. Now, 1.2 grams is greater than the one gram that the water would weigh, and therefore it would sink. It pushes down against the water. The water can push upwards up to an amount of one grams worth and then it has to give up because the dry ice can continue to push. So that is basically why dry ice sinks.